today we'll visit the ancient city of Akko and you will be able to see this. Abandoned kind of like, you know. It's so nice because there's the shade of it. It's like the square over here. A very big... Oh, look at this. There's... Shalom guys, welcome from Northern Israel. You are now looking at a beautiful bay of Akko. Uh, it's sometimes called Akre also. And today we're gonna be visiting this incredible old city. It's a jewel of the Levant. And we will go inside this old city, which is uh, a very, very historic and a very, very important place. Many historical periods uh, we'll be discussing today uh, from the Bronze Age up to uh, late Islamic Age and even the British Mandate so there's many many things for us to see uh, so just to give you a, an orientation this is where Haifa is over there and here is the old city of Akkad and if we would go continue this way we would end up in Lebanon. So this is northern Israel. We have a beautiful weather today, as you can see, and there is going to be an exciting, uh, an exciting uh, trip ahead of us. So join me for a trip of Akko. Okay, guys. So I'm back. It's a little bit windy here, but we are next to the sea, so that's why. And we are actually in the center now of the historical old Akko. And uh, we are in a very interesting place because what you can see here, you see some uh, remains like inside. It, it creates like a half circle here. Uh, we'll also look for, at it from a different angle. But basically, <laughs> it used to be here a huge uh, Templar fortress. And the Templars... Uh, had the fortress here, it was destroyed at some point, and they used the tunnels that started here to get to the other side of the city. So we'll actually go through those uh, tunnels of the Templars and we'll see some incredible remains from medieval times. So we start from the history of medieval, but today we're gonna talk about a lot, a lot of different time periods. Uh, this is basically, uh, how the old city uh, looks from the seaside. You see a wall that's, uh, that you can see here. It goes over there and then it kind of curves, goes around. So, and in that direction also, uh, the wall curves and goes in that direction. So we're like on the top of the, like a triangle uh, that we can see. And uh, this is, uh, old city Akko, we'll go inside, we'll see some of the streets of uh, old Akko and uh, you will be able to experience this feeling uh, of this city. And this is a very uh, multi-faith uh, city now. And there are uh, um, Muslims living here, there are Christians living here, there are Baha'is living here, there are even Jewish people that live here. So many, many different religions. Uh, that coexist with each other. You even have Druzes that live here. So, uh, quite an interesting atmosphere uh, and uh, many, many people living next to each other. So today you will be able to see that. So, let's go. Let's visit Akko. Um, okay, guys, so we're gonna now uh, go down to the temple tunnels. So there is a, there's an entrance here that we will use that we will use and um, here's basically again this remains of this fortress so you can imagine from this fortress uh, you would be able to go to a tunnel and get out on the other side of the city so uh, an amazing thing in the middle ages 
because uh, of course you, we must understand that uh, at that times there were many different fractions in the city and uh, uh, sometimes there was big rivalry between uh, for example different orders uh, that had their stations here so the Templars to uh, transport money, for example, uh, from the fortress uh, to another side of the city, they would use those tunnels so that it's a safe passage and they would not have to worry about attacks from other uh, fractions. So uh, that's quite interesting. Okay guys, so we just bought the tickets. Uh, this is the entrance to uh, the tunnels, as you can see. Uh, we bought the tickets, it's 49 shekels, so apart from the tunnels we'll be able to also see the uh, hospital or uh, fortress and many other interesting things. So, let's go! So, we are now in the Templar tunnels. Okay, so quite an interesting uh, experience. And this basically transports us uh, to the other side of the city. So, there's still even water here. So, you know, you have different paintings from describing the times of the Crusaders. Okay guys, so uh, we are now mm, close to another place. So here's like a presentation of this uh, underground uh, tunnels that uh, was a, was basically a whole city under the, uh, the, the the city itself so there were two cities one was a city uh, that was hidden which is this one and the other one was that's above so uh, quite quite interesting how they did it so you have a you know a ship that comes you know, and uh, you have a, a, a person with uh, belongings and they are able to use uh, those tunnels to get to the other side, for example. So let's go, let's continue.
The Templars' standing strengthened due to their broad-scale economic activity and their role as bankers. The tunnel leads from the western side, where the Templar Palace was situated, to the port area at the southern side of the city. The tunnel allowed direct access to the port and to Europe, eliminating the need to traverse the Pisan Quarter. Less than 200 years after the Crusades, the Mamluks gained control over the land of Israel. The magnificent Templar fortress, which had marked the entrance to Acre from the sea, was its final stronghold. However, after a difficult siege, this fortress also fell. A short time later, the Crusader period in the Holy Land came to an end. The wealth of the order was a cause for concern among the church and the French monarchy, who joined forces to topple it. In 1307, all the Templars in France were imprisoned and put on trial. They were prosecuted for heresy, among many other charges, and were burnt at the stake, bringing the days of the Templar order to a close. At the Pope's decree, their many assets were transferred to another large military order, the Hospitallers. Only a small number of relics, such as this tunnel, remain from the Templars' glorious past. So, that was a nice uh, history and it really well explained where we are and the significance of this place. So you can see a painting here. How it could look. There's another one showing you. So it must have been a magnificent place. Look at uh, this. This is the destroyed uh, uh, fortress of the Templars. So the Mamluks destroyed it and today we saw the remains of it in the sea. So very interesting. And here you have some more paintings of uh, you know, the Templars and uh, the knights from uh, Europe. If you like history uh, from this era, this is a definitely a must-see in Israel because it's, it's it's unique. You won't see it anywhere else in the world. It's just here in Accra, uh, and that's that's why how that's that's why it's so important to uh, visit other places in Israel. Okay, guys. So. And you can read a little bit about uh, the Templars, who they were. Uh, so the king monks, you could say. So they were priests <laughs> and also knights in a way. And uh, this tunnel is 150 meters long. And it was discovered in 1944. Mm, and the uh, tunnel, tunnel was full of earth, you know, so they had to really get rid of it. And it wasn't that easy mm, because uh, of course, they were afraid that it might collapse at uh, a certain point. So they had to first secure uh, the tunnel in order to start actually getting rid of the ground, because the ground kept the tunnel together. Okay. So let's continue. traveled so this is the area of the fortress and we went here went all the way to here okay so you can now see the shape of Akko in a way so this is the entrance again basically get out in the old city of Akko so you see you can see like this it's quite interesting you know like uh, places like this in Akko are existent 
so you have abandoned kind of like you know so let's go here Okay guys, so uh, once again uh, we are here, mm, so we'll go now to the port, we'll see the port because it's quite interesting, it's a small port, uh, nothing like it used to be, but there is like a bay here, and then we'll go in this direction, uh, and uh, as you can see there are different uh, buildings of different religions, so for example you have churches over here, uh, you have even a synagogue over here, okay. uh, and you also have mosques, so uh, many different, and they all kind of have their own colors in the city, so for example, uh, the mosques uh, are e green, and the churches are like red, and then you have also like Baha'i, which are blue, uh, so you can recognize them by just looking at the colors and the roofs of those buildings what uh, religion it is of. Okay guys, so and this is again the entrance to the tunnels and we will now go to the Pisang port which was a neighborhood of uh, Ako and today there is a small port there uh, it's nothing like the ports that used to be here but it's definitely worth seeing so, let's see. Now you can see, it's like a bay here, and there are different boats, small boats, see, so it's not a big port. And uh, an interesting thing, you see that clock tower over there? Uh, you will see the same uh, clock tower in Jerusalem and also Tel Aviv and here uh, they're, they're uh, the same so uh, it's quite interesting that you will see those um, in, uh, in those three cities and uh, of course what I was saying to you you know the colors the different corals you have the uh, green color which is Muslim and then you have the red color which is Christian so you have churches over there and here's uh, uh, um, uh, um, mosque, but it's not uh, the biggest mosque. Uh, we will go to the biggest mosque in Akko and we will visit it. So, this is the bay again. You know, it's very quiet here. The water, you see, it's no waves or anything because it's, uh, it's protected by this, mm, mm, these walls over here. So, don't go here. Somebody. Not this time. Thank you. So you see, the person was inviting me for a trip, uh, but I didn't take it. Around here, a bar. <laughs> so, 
So biblically, uh, Akko is not uh, as important as other cities. However, uh, if you look at the New Testament, uh, Paul and Luke visited the city. Uh, it was called differently back then. So it was called a different name. Back then it was called Ptolemias. So a Greek name, but basically it's, it, it was Akko. So uh, Paul and Luke visited Ptolemias and we read that in Acts that they had fellowship with believers here. So there is some connection, at least to the New uh, Testament. But of course, you know, this city existed uh, when the Bible happened. So it has ancient roots. So uh, you see again this tower, the same one you can see in Jerusalem and Tel Aviv. So. like a square over here with the atmosphere over here so it, it is kind of like a little bit like a pirate city you know kind of feels like it uh, you have the ancient history uh, medieval history uh, and then you have the sea and the port next to it so it makes a nice blend We're still in the uh, area of the port, so you can see the other side of it and some of the remains of the walls over here. Here. See? And you know, uh, I'll tell you a secret. It used to be possible to jump from those walls to the sea. So I even did it once. Uh, I would not do it today, but uh, you were able to jump from those walls to the sea. So it was very exciting. And uh, that was when I was much, much younger and uh, I guess brave or not responsible. But uh, this is actually a new thing over here. So uh, it uh, got renovated. I remember when this was not here, it was in much, uh, um, um, much less developed uh, way over here. So the city is changing. So this is the boat I was talking about. You can take a boat like that. And it goes quite fast. So uh, what you can see here, we are still in the bay area of this little port. Um, but there's like an island over here and it's called the Island of the Flies or the Tower of the Flies, sorry. So, and it's quite uh, ancient actually. This uh, thing used to be a tower uh, from the Phoenician times. Uh, so, uh, quite ancient. And uh, this is where also uh, the cargo would be unloaded and uh, uh, used by the Phoenicians. So, quite interesting. And once again, we have this boat. Over here. Tornado, it's called. <laughs> okay, guys, so we we're, uh, we're just here, and now we're gonna go into one more place I want to show you before we head out to the market. So, buy some pomegranate juice, which is very, very popular now because it's the almost Rosh Hashanah, so the new Jewish year. It's this time of the year where you have pomegranates on the trees that are 
and I'm starting to be ripe. this restaurant to the other side we'll see so it's a nice restaurant here see that's that can we pass outside oh, yeah ah okay thank you So we can't pass, unfortunately. But we'll uh, get to where we need to be in a moment. And we'll have to go the same way we entered here. So for this passage. Back side of the restaurant. Oh. So, we will see different colors of aqua. Yeah. There is another restaurant. So let's just pick in. And upstairs also is a restaurant. to show you this one place over here uh, because this is where I studied in Israel. Here is the International School of Conservation and this is where, um, where I would come every day. So this building over here. Now it's closed you can see there's a chain. It was actually uh, destroyed uh, during the... there were some uh, troubled times in Israel and this place got burned down. So it was very tragic because it was just renovated. There were so many nice things in here and uh, it just basically got destroyed. So the mob just came and just started destroying it. Uh, and that was when there was huge tensions with uh, the Palestinians and they unfortunately burned it down so it's a pity okay so we are now leaving this area and we're gonna go into the direction of the market so you will be able to see a little bit of the market at Akko It's a little bit similar to the one you can see in, uh, in Jerusalem, for example. So. so we were here earlier. The shop over here. Oh. <laughs> Funny installation. Here. This is 
some of the signs. This is where uh, temple tunnels. You can go either from this side or from the port side. We went from the port side. Hi, how are you? So you see, people are quite friendly. But uh, those are very narrow. Uh, pathways and it's easy to get lost here if you don't know the way it's like a maze fortunately there is a lot of signs that help out you know so uh, it's very very helpful this is the uh, way to the port again this is where we're going. So you can see some things over here. You can buy some clothes even. Oh, very nice. This is now where we're gonna enter the marketplace in Akko. Some food right here. We take we take this place like that. You can buy anything you like here, even soap, some spices, yeah, it's you know similar to the, tour, uh, to the market in, uh, in Jerusalem. So it smells like fish here. <laughs> Fruits over here, vegetables, you know, potatoes. Okay, guys, so I had to change the settings on my camera because um, there was a lot of flickering light flickering so mm -hmm. good to mm, get rid of this effect so we have the famous uh, Turkish uh, sweets so you have the baklava you know, and halas, halas. So very very sweet Different olives and spices, 
nuts. There are so many different smells here, you can smell it, you know, there's this fish, then you have sweets, then you have meat, then you have like those ornaments things, so also it's like a mixture of everything. And again fish. that's the one thing that's different Marco from uh, Jerusalem that you have fish here because it's port here and there's a lot of fisher fishermen so you are able to see this Guys, we are on the border, you can say, of the old city of Akko. We came from there, and this is pretty much uh, the exit uh, of the city from here. Uh, what is interesting here is you have the so-called white market over here, and this is a market that remembers the, the Turkish times, so it's a Turkish kind of market. Uh, a, a famous guy uh, which is connected to the city is Al Jazeer, Al Jazar and he uh, established a lot of uh, things uh, in Akko, created Akko as a hub of commercial uh, place, of religious uh, place, so we'll go take a close the road here and so that we can see the white market. It's looking much much nicer than as I remember it, so they have done a lot of work on it, uh, the plastering uh, on the walls, so it's quite a unique place here, uh, where you can have a snack, but uh, I want you guys to see two more things in Akko that you have to see so we'll go to the mosque uh, so we'll enter a mosque and then uh, afterwards you will see something really really cool so stay with me big mosque so. see Al Jazeera mosque I was telling you about this guy uh, he's very influential he was very influential in Akko and how it looks today so a lot of things were built during his reign here and he 
uh, of course, uh, created many bathhouses. So you see again green color. So we're entering a mosque. So. So we'll have to buy a ticket here, it costs 10 shekels to visit. So there might be even prayer now. There's the guy. Abu Sef. Abu Sef. So uh, we are now mm, next to the entrance to the mm, to the mosque. This is it and uh, this is like a place where you would clean your feet your hands wash yourself so you need to take shoes to enter this uh, uh, and now we're gonna enter the mosque so. So. And uh, you can't enter unless you're gonna pray. So well, it's not as big as I would thought it would be. However, the dome is big. If you've never seen a mosque from the inside, this is how it looks. Okay, so now we're gonna go to one more place that you need to see. You wanna be able to see it. Okay guys, so uh, we're in the last place I want to show you. Uh, this is the uh, Crusader Fortress over here. So we'll be able to see uh, some really cool stuff. And there is actually a very nice uh, garden over there too, um, with trees and plants. So you will be able to uh, see it. And because of this, some people are even doing their uh, wedding uh, photos here. So I'm gonna go inside. Okay guys, so we are now in this haven over here. You see the big big trees that grew here it's so nice because there's the shade over here so and uh, it's like a garden over here so there's one movie that I want you to see so, very nice trees give a lot of shade People do their wedding, uh, you know, pictures over here, so you can see how it looks. So here's the model Baco. So. We are in this section over here. Uh, the building. So we were next to the port, the civil port. And we're here where the Crusader Fortress was, the Templar, Templar Fortress. And now uh, we are here uh, where you have the remains of another order, the Hospitals Order. 
and later uh, here in the during the British mandate, the British had their uh, had their headquarters here, and there was also a prison here. So we don't see all that. Okay, guys. So uh, there is no movie uh, actually. So there used to be a movie that you were able to watch here, uh, but something changed. Uh, maybe it's another location. I don't know. Orchard Garden. I wonder what's over there. Let me ask. Maybe in the tickets. I can. It's been a while since I've been here. Uh, the main entrance to the Templars, I mean to the night halls, are over there. So we're gonna go down there, but I wonder if there's still this movie that you can see. So we are now going into the halls of the hospital arts order oh it's so cool here Hi. so now we're gonna go this route to the underground uh, city So this is how it looks, but there is there was so much more which was uncovered uh, much much later. So everything for us for a long time was hidden here because there was dirt on top of it, and as they started digging, they started finding incredible things. And you he here you can see a historical picture of how this uh, looked like so you have uh, the uh, the dirt still on top of a, of a structure so before that uh, before they uncovered it everything was covered with dirt so the first room that we will visit is the prison hall Okay guys, so we are in this first room, the prison, and mm, here you have a little bit of an information about Akko itself, so the history really started in Bronze Age, so 3000 uh, BC, so uh, this is one of the uh, longest inhabited uh, cities in the world, uh, it started really, really early, and this is this prison building, uh, prison uh, hall, you have uh, over here showing you the excavation of this place and you know this this was a quite a challenge as they started discovering this thing because they had to install uh, additional uh, um, supporting structures that would start holding the walls because as long as the dirt was uh, was uh, in those holes uh, it came it, it, there was no danger of it collapsing but when uh, they started digging out <laughs> Uh, all the dirt uh, there was nothing uh, preventing this from collapsing so you had to be very clever <laughs> engineering had to be employed here to actually uh, to actually hold this so here are some some different different it, it basically shows you all the different stages of Akko so let's start maybe okay so we have the Canaanite period okay over here uh, so three three thousand, and then we have the Phoenician period. That's Iron Age. That's twelve uh, hundred to five eighty six BCE, and then there is the Persian period. And then you have the Hellenistic uh, period. Uh, and then you have the Roman period and Byzantium, Byzantine period. Okay, so and then of course you have other histories 
you have the Muslim period, and then uh, different civilizations, uh, the Mamluks from Egypt, uh, then you have uh, uh, the, uh, the Turks, and then eventually the British and Israel. So early Isa Islamic period over here. Uh, and this is the main hall uh, of the hospitalers. Uh, so quite big. And this is this was all underground. So I believe this is the dining room, if I'm correct, of the hospitalers. So and you see this installation, this metal installation, this has been done to support, uh, give additional support to those arches uh, and uh, many many things had to be installed so that uh, uh, it would all hold together so you have another uh, pillars over here that are uh, built to uh, support this thing because everything was covered with dirt so here are even older remains and much much older so it's layer on layer on layer so lots of different uh, and we spoke about the Mamluks so the Mamluks were the ones that conquered Akko from the Crusaders and you have some cunning uh, uh, balls over here you know cannonballs so <laughs> huge huge big ones you know some of them are really really big like this one over here look at my my hand next to it it's it's a big one so the Mamluks uh, destroyed the city and basically after the Mamluks the city uh, was desolate for, for many many years and uh, uh, it did not uh, start to uh, really become an, again an important center until the uh, Turkish era when it was again developed and a very important trading uh, place so you know you have different for example uh, <laughs> games over here you can play for example so you have like uh, you can throw this so this is some kind of medieval games oh I see I'm pretty good at this maybe I should have been born in medieval times so uh, what else so we have different different aspects of Akko really and you could spend here hours but you know it's been a long day for you already and for me so uh, we're just gonna have a look here there's some more games you can play here and there's like shops over here where uh, sometimes you have expositions but some of them are closed so this is a big big room And you have all the flags of the Templars. I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm saying Templars, but it's not the te Templar order, it's the Hospitaller's order. So, a different order. So, you have some art over here. Some, actually, you can probably maybe buy stuff here. So, there's more over here. Uh, okay, so now we're gonna go to the North Hall and the, the rooms just keep getting bigger, you know, this one is even bigger than the last one. So look how tall it is and again you can imagine how much work, how much dirt they had to get rid of. This was all covered with dirt, so it's huge amounts of, of just dirt that was moved. Uh, but it's incredible, you know, the British were walking on this. They had a prison on top, so eventually when they started digging, they started finding all those huge rooms and uh, they're still finding new stuff. <laughs> so they're not done. I mean, there's plenty more. So It's a little bit dark here, so I hope uh, you can see Mm, everything so you can just walk here and uh, goes deeper and deeper so 
this is like a wall which was destroyed by the Mamluks and then you had another period when Napoleon Bonaparte was here and he was trying to also capture the city from the Turks so uh, many many different uh, history stories here and uh, really you could spend here hours if we would go over everything because it's such a multi-layer city and this is uh, what uh, if you remember in the beginning uh, I was uh, talking to you um, and showing you the picture as they started digging this place so this again was all covered with dirt so the layer went up to to this wall as you see over there so everything here was covered with dirt and now it's all uncovered so it's really really uh, impressive what we have here so it's like a castle courtyard here that you can see so amazing and the British during the British era British man there, there was a uh, there was a prison here so the, mm, the British uh, were actually uh, putting into prisons uh, Jewish people that were rebelling against uh, their rule their mandate and the Jewish people actually started doing uh, rescue missions so they uh, created an explosion that uh, enabled the prisoners to escape but then the British of course were not very happy about that and they executed uh, uh, those that they were able to to catch so uh, sad story here too so this is the hospital's fortress okay guys so I need to clarify something that I said earlier um, because I said we were in the dining hall, but actually no, that wasn't the dining hall. Mm, I got it mixed. This is the actual dining hall. And they have a proof here. Uh, it says uh, dining hall. So, uh, still a very big... Oh, look at this. There's a bird inside. So, still a very big room. And uh, uh, quite impressive nonetheless. So, this is the, the dining room. This is where the Templars would eat uh, again I said Templars sorry about this <laughs> it's been a long day uh, the Hospitallers so the, the order of Hospitallers so this is uh, this is the story so guys we are now uh, entered a uh, area of uh, of a street level so you have the street here mm, it would curve over there go over there so we're like on the street level from that period so there's more additional rooms over here uh, that you can explore and this is a long long tour but definitely a lot of information if you like this kind of okay so we're gonna get out now and we'll end our tour uh, in Akko so see you later okay guys so we are back next to the sea as you can see and these are young boys are boys that actually jump from those walls so I told you that I I uh, used to jump also but but uh, now uh, I would never do it so fortunately they want probably money uh, to to jump so uh, but maybe they will so we'll see wait a little bit here we are next to a church So again, you see the red roof, and over there is uh, 
Aqua, the new Aqua. No, but there you have Haifa. There is the Bay of Haifa. Okay guys, so thank you for watching, please like the video if you enjoyed that, uh, also subscribe to the channel and if you think that my work is uh, helpful you can support the channel, uh, that way uh, we can create even more things that are interesting for you. So Shalom from Akko and I will be seeing you in another location soon, so be uh, alert, have a good day, Shalom. <laughs>